Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about the brand new vehicle that was just added into Grand Theft Auto Online, the Overflot Autarch Supercar. We're going to be going over some buyer beware and some things you need to know, and we're also going to be talking about is it the best supercar in the game? So we'll be diving into all that in this video today. So let's start with our price to entry, and that is $1,955,000. So as far as supercars go, this is kind of right in the middle. It's pretty fairly priced, I would say. It's not on the cheap end, like the Wagner, which is $1.5 million, and it's not on the expensive end, like we saw with some of the cunning stunts vehicles, like the 2.5 2.6 million. So it's literally right in the middle as far as supercars go. I cannot complain about that price. Again, not super cheap, which would have been just an added bonus, but not crazy expensive. Two million for a supercar, not bad. Now, another great thing about this vehicle is the amazing customization. For a supercar, this thing has some awesome upgrades, especially for not being a Benny's vehicles. Uh, I mean, it has a ton of different hood options. It has a bunch of different spoiler applications that you can apply, skirts. Now, one of the things that might turn you off from this car is the amount of carbon fiber that you can't change. Now, I personally like carbon fiber on vehicles, especially if it's done right. However, with this vehicle, there isn't really options to remove them. So for example, in the front bumper, you can't get rid of the carbon fiber. In the rear splitter, you can't get rid of the carbon fiber. Um, there's side panels on the back, can't get rid of the carbon fiber there. And the mirrors are carbon fiber too. So there's a lot on this car and you can't change those features. They are like 100% permanently stuck like that. So if you aren't a fan of carbon fiber on vehicles, this one may not be the one for you. Another design element that drives me crazy is the windshield wiper. In first person, this thing is literally sticking straight up in the middle of the screen. Why? We don't even have the option to use windshield wipers in this game. So why would it be up right in the middle of our view when we're trying to drive? It makes it very difficult in first person. Speaking of first person, it kind of has a lackluster interior for a really awesome supercar. Like for example, there's not an Overflod logo on the steering wheel. I feel like that could have been pretty cool, especially given how beautiful the Overflod logo is. And you can see them on the back of the car. And I would have loved to have been able to see that in first person as well, but Rockstar didn't seem to have added that. And then the last kind of thing that bugs me just a little bit, and once again, these are just very minor things, uh, and that is the fact that you can't change the stock wheels. So the stock wheels have this beautiful design element to them where you can change the color of the ring around the outside by upgrading and updating the secondary color. However, the stock wheels are gonna be that carbon fiber black no matter what you do. So even if you try and use the iFruit app trick, you won't be able to change the color of those stock wheels um, because they are permanently going to be that carbon fiber black. And on top of that, there isn't really another wheel like that in the game, obviously that has that nice color feature, but that has that design too. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Now, moving on to some things I do like about the design. Uh, the headlights, I think, are incredible. The fact that you get like an extra set when you turn the brights on, that's really cool. I love the way the doors open up like a butterfly. It's just amazingly cool. Um, you can open up the trunk and the hood, exposing really cool parts like the engine and some extra upgrades. So the look of this car, in my opinion, is stellar. And another thing about this vehicle, it's only the second overflawed car we have in the game the Entity XF, and then this one, the Autarch. So as far as brands go, this is a pretty rare vehicle to see in online, which might be really cool. And if that's something you value a lot, uh, brand kind of loyalty or brand rarity, this could be a really cool thing about the Autarch. So now that we've gone over the look of the car, the price, the modifications, and some of the upgrades, it's a supercar after all, you're gonna be racing this thing and you're going to want to know how this thing performs on a track, in circuits, in stunt races, in regular races. And for this, I'm gonna be using the data that Bruffy has actually gathered. I'll leave a link to his testing video in the description if you wanna take a look at it. But on his track and from his results, the Autarch is the fourth best supercar in the game, which is incredible. Because when you're getting close to like the top five, even top 10 of the supercars, the difference between them is just microseconds. It is crazy quick. And this vehicle really does everything well. It has great acceleration. It has a really nice top speed, not the best, which is why we uh, only see it at fourth. It has really great handling, awesome traction, awesome braking. So this vehicle is a slam dunk 
when it comes to supercar performance. Now it's not the best. It's not better than the Wagner that was added in gun running. It's not better than the Ocelot XA21. Those are still going to be better than this vehicle. However, just because this supercar falls in fourth today, that does not make it inadequate at all. An overflawed Autarch could smoke a Wagner just like it could easily beat an XA21. Again, the difference between like one through four in these supercars is a fraction of a second, if that. These cars are all incredibly quick. All of them are incredibly well-rounded. The only thing that separates the Autarch from something like the Wagner or the XA21, it lacks a little bit of that powerful top speed. And that's where you see the difference between this one and then something like the Wagner or the XA21, just a slight little bit of difference. However, in races, there are so many different variables that would allow you to be just as successful in the Autarch as you would be in the Wagner. Really, the only difference there is you're gonna get into prices. Wagner is the best and the cheapest, so it's still kind of like the overall king. XA21, a little bit more expensive, but slightly better performance-wise than the Autarch. Then you got the Autarch, which is kind of right in the middle and right behind the XA21. So it is one of the best supercars in the game. Is it still the best, like the king? Only one of them can wear the crown. I think the answer to that is no. I think the Wagner still has it beat in terms of its price, in terms of its performance, but this vehicle is incredibly cool. For all the things I've mentioned, the design, the look, the price, the modifications, the fact that it's only one of two vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online, all of those are things you need to consider when going into this vehicle. So now let's do a quick review. Can I give this thing the buyer beware sticker? I think the answer to that is no, I really can't. Let's talk about price. Now, it's not free, it's not Wagner cheap, but it's pretty good at $1.95 million. So I'm gonna give it an A. Not an A+, plus, but an A. Customization, I'm also gonna say an A. Now, I think this car could have benefited from some really cool liveries. I'm kind of shocked that this is like the one vehicle from this update that doesn't get liveries on there. So I think that was kind of a strange choice by Rockstar. But other than that, there's a ton of great upgrades and modifications. So again, not an A+, but I am going to give this an A. And then performance, it's gonna get an A+. I mean, it's hard to get much better than the fourth fastest supercar in the game. And like I said, the separation there is literally seconds and all the variables and all the subjectiveness of races, that's not gonna make a huge difference. So overall, you should totally buy the Overflawed Autarch if you have the money. And if you're looking for a nice new supercar to change things up in Grand Theft Auto Online that can be really competitive. I say nice and new, like we haven't been getting supercars, but some of the last few that have been added, not only are new, obviously, but they've been the best in the game. XA21 uh, Wagner. So like I said, it's still a nice car. I totally recommend that you buy this vehicle. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm going to be talking about for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know your opinions on the Autarch in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Are you going to be buying it? Are you not? If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.